In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel. According to St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 37 through to 43a. Now it happened on the next day, when they had come down from the mountain, that a great multitude met him. Suddenly a man from the multitude cried out, saying, Teacher, I implore you, look on my son, for he is my only child. And behold, a spirit seizes him, and suddenly he cries out, it convulses him so that he foams at the mouth and it departs from him with great difficulty, bruising him. So I implored your disciples to cast it out, but they could not. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and bear with you? Bring your son here. And he was still coming, and the demon threw him down and convulsed him. When Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, healed the child and gave him back to his father. And they were all amazed at the majesty of God. Glory. To you, O oh God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us in our faith. Help us with our unbelief. And in this reading from St. Luke's Gospel today, of course, we read about a man whose son had a demon, and it used to convulse him quite often. And when the man heard about Jesus, he came to Jesus and he cried out. But first of all, he came to Jesus' disciples, expecting them to be able to take care of the boy. But they could not. So they, he then decided to employ with Jesus Ask him. Ask him. And then, of course, as soon as he approached Jesus, Jesus then answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and bear with you? And he said, Bring your son here. And as the son was coming towards Jesus, the demon that was inside him convulsed him once again and threw him down on the ground. And Jesus then, you rebuked the unclean spirit. And the spirit left. He healed the child. And then gave him back to his father. And of course all those who were there marveled at what they saw. How often do we read in the scriptures similar type of stories, what happened with Jesus? There's a little subheading to this reading. It says, The unbelieving world. It's not only talking about them in that time with Jesus and those people that were around. But we live, you, I, all of us live in very much an unbelieving world. As far as the world is concerned, it's just a lot of superstition, fairy tales, stories, pretty stories, pretty things. But for some unknown reason, Satan really has been busy. 
turning the glory of God into a laughing stock. We live in an unbelieving world. We who do believe, we seem to be battling every day, don't we? But that's all right. As we were told, when we decided to follow Christ, that we were going to be taking up our cross daily and following him. Many give their lives for their faith. Are you one of them? Would you do that? Pray to the Holy Spirit to help your unbelief, help your faith to become strong. No matter when the battles happen, we will have the faith to fight them, to fight Satan and all his angels. All those wicked, wicked angels who keep on attacking us in many ways and forms. Yes, one of the most popular ones is doubt. Yes, doubting so much. Doubting that Christ even exists. Yes. This is sown in people's minds so often, weakens the people. So we must, must study the scriptures, get to know Jesus Christ, get to know God. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, strengthen your faith every day. Give God the glory for the blessings you receive. Give God the glory for the strengthening of your faith. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. <laughs>